Now, after a tough day at Ohio State, students and faculty, of course, leading on each other at a vigil, while investigators continue to piece together exactly what happened. Raycom's Jessica Schmidt has been following this story, and she was there when the vigil took place last night. A silent gathering late Monday night filled with prayer and candles. The Ohio State community is coming together after a shocking attack rattled the campus. But the fact that it could happen uh, to my community uh, was really very shocking. Rewind to about 9.50 Monday morning. That's when police say this man, Abdul Artan, rammed his car into a group of pedestrians near Watts Hall. He didn't stop there. We're told the 18-year-old OSU student hopped out of the car with a butcher knife and started slashing people who were walking by. But within minutes, investigators say this officer shot and killed the suspect. He was in the area because of a fire alarm. It, it is uh, remarkable uh, what these first responders did. Eleven people are hurt, spread out between three hospitals. Medical teams do believe they will recover. The fact that there were injured to begin with is a tragedy in and of itself. Law enforcement officials are now sorting through evidence, trying to piece together what led up to the stabbing. They believe Artan was a Somali refugee who lived here legally. While they don't know what motivated him to do something like this, they suspect he acted alone. Until more comes to light, those who make up this campus are leaning on each other. To pray for one another, to look out for one another, and make sure that we continue to focus on what brings us together as opposed to what divides us.